This October, people have got together to mark World Down Syndrome Month to show children with Down Syndrome are just like anyone else. For World Down Syndrome Month, I spoke with maternity coordinator Lucy Ann Davies from the online support group Positive About Down Syndrome, who this month have raised awareness with a 31-day challenge many people have got involved with to share the importance of this month. We have a, um, a series of photos every day that are being published and um, the hashtag is to be, it's October and the, the BE in October, it's like hashtag I want to be. Um, so we have a whole load of a series of photographs, Billy's in there actually, I think you are one of the first ones and he has a t-shirt that says legend. So his, he was I want to be a legend and I think you will be a legend. But there's all sorts of other things like dancers, I want to be a barman. And um, it's, it's basically just to show that people with Down syndrome are just like any other mm. child, that they've got aspirations, they've got, um, you know, the ability to, to do what they want to do, like anybody within the limits of their learning capacity. We want awareness about Down syndrome so people can accept our children. And also to show, um, you know, potential new parents that it's not the scary, bewildering experience that they might be expecting. But in terms of, the, you know, a wider picture, we want people to be aware that there is prejudice against our children. And we want people to be aware that people with Down syndrome deserve the same as everybody else. So currently we are getting involved in a Down syndrome bill trying to push that through Parliament so that we can have a Down Syndrome Act so children with Down Syndrome are protected and considered when anything goes through Parliament. There is an Autism Act, so teachers are trained in how to teach children with autism. We have to fight for teacher training uh, for our children because children with Down Syndrome learn in a specific way and for them to you know, succeed and reach their full potential, the teachers need that training. So. Within the Down Syndrome Awareness Month and World Down Syndrome Day, we can, you know, bring these these issues to the fore to show that there is that unfairness against our children. Uh, but it is also just to show the world really that our children are just children and they have their they have their worth and they have their abilities. An activity in Richmond that is vital to the community is Park Lane Stables. Stables manager Natalie O'Rourke expressed the work they do with Down Syndrome children. Natalie has been posting pictures of her son Woody who has Down Syndrome on social media to share as many pictures and facts for World Down Syndrome Month. Um, so Park Lane Stables welcomes children and adults actually um, with Down Syndrome and any type of disability and we're here for them to get involved in uh, whatever way they want to so that might be riding, carriage driving or just working on the yard there's always plenty to do with horses, it never ever stops um, and it also uh, gives the parents and the families a little break uh, from their family member with additional needs so that they can have a bit of time out really Yeah, and we're very proud a uh, member of RDA which stands for Riding for the Disabled Association so it's um, a national organisation and there's about 400 RDA groups around the country and we're really proud to be one of those and what it means is that um, we're accredited um, and trained and up to date with our knowledge for welcoming people with disabilities to come riding with us. We're always um, welcoming to anybody that's got Down syndrome, obviously, and we've just been trying to champion it on social media. So we've just been trying to remind people and get them to ask questions about Down syndrome because there's so many sort of misconceptions about what Down syndrome is. So we've just been trying to put little facts out there mm -hmm. and encouraging people to talk about Woody. Um, because most people that know us on social media would know Woody so we've asked them to at least tell one person in their life about Woody in the hope that the, the word spreads and people will get the message that Dancing Jeremy is not down, it's just got the wrong name really. <laughs>